so. You've had a busy uh, week and a half, two weeks? Busy week, very busy week and a half, trying to get the service back to our customers as quickly right. as we can. And how many customers lost power? In Con Edison's area, about 975,000 customers lost power. And how many people are still without power? About 60 to 70,000 right now. And, and so we've got the vast majority of the customers back, but for those customers, it's a real hardship. Right. How are you? How are you? How do you feel about that performance and the and the amount of time it took to get people back online? I, I think that uh, Con Edison and the rest of the industry have done a great job in responding. We have literally thousands of people from as far away as California, people from up in Canada, coming down to help us to get those customers back on, and there's still people coming into the system to help us get those customers back on. We'd all like to get it done uh, faster, but I think our industry responds collectively better than any other industry I know when one of us has a problem. And you've been at Con Ed for 39, 39. years. And for seven years as the CEO? That's, yes. And this is the worst storm uh, that you've seen as This is This is the worst storm time. we've seen. Our Prior to this, the record storm was Hurricane Irene, where we had about 200,000 customers. Which was a year service, ago. Which was only a year ago, and this was 975,000 customers. 907,000, 200,000. So the worst storm, 39 years, and what was the hardest decision that you had to make, or, or, someone, <coughs> or someone in your team had to make during the storm? Was there a pivotal decision, you think? I think the... the I don't know there was a pivotal decision, but the decision that we made to preemptively shut down some of the electrical networks in downtown Manhattan and one in, and one in Brooklyn prevented more damage to, the, to that, uh, those systems and enabled us to get the customers back on faster. Uh -huh. Now, what do, you, what, what, what do you think we've learned from this storm? Because a lot of people say what, the thing you need to do is bury the lines. Well, we already, we've already buried the lines, and they went, they, we still lost right. power. Right. What have we learned from the storm that we, uh, if someone said to you, okay, we've learned something from the storm, I'm going to give you, I don't know, what do you need? Five billion dollars? I'm going to give you some money. What would you do with it? I, th I think it's a broader issue than just what we would do because we're just a, you know, we're a piece of overall society. If we could protect our system, but the buildings would still get flooded and lose their electrical equipment, we'd still continue to have problems. So I think it has to be a broader uh, resolution of what do you protect the system, the city from, in terms of tidal storms and all the storms, perhaps. But surely this type of storm, I think there should be some plan that says over some period of time, everybody in the city is going to have to either protect their equipment to a certain elevation, or perhaps everything new that gets built is going to come up to a certain height.